So an encounter is, God wants us to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. God wants us to meet the Holy Spirit and God wants us to walk with the Holy Spirit. God wants there to be signs that you know the Holy Spirit. God wants there to be results that you walk with Holy Spirit. And I'm not talking about only that you can speak in tongues 300 miles per hour. That is great. That is awesome. But it does not mean that you know Him. You walk with Him and that you are with Him. Come on somebody. In the conclusion, I want to give you just practical three tips on having an encounter with Holy Spirit. Principle number one. Before we have an encounter with the Holy Spirit, we have to have a right information. What wise men did is they, not only they saw the star and they decided to go and see it. They first went to Jerusalem to see that they have the right information of where the king is supposed to be born. An encounter with the Holy Spirit happens, number one, we need to first be scripturally grounded. Not every spirituality is scriptural. Today there is a wave of Christianity that calls itself Christianity or spiritualism called New Age. And some of you here today, you read their books. Books like Secret. Books like Present Now. Books like Courses in Miracles. Books like The Power of Now. And you read that and you're like, wow, this is like the Bible. It just have, has less verses. Um, it's New Age. And it's not the Bible. It's a cult. And I know where it was born from. Because the church was busy learning how to explain God instead of seeking to experience Him. But most of the people in the church said, that doesn't cut it for me. I read, I'm not an idiot. I'm not a theologian, but I'm not an idiot. This Bible is marked with stuff you can't explain. You can have more degrees than a thermometer, you still can't explain it. I want to experience it. And people became so hungry to experience God that they looked at the people who preached this and they pushed this aside to experience angels, to experience miracles. And that's where that stuff was born. But listen, just because it's spiritual and supernatural, it doesn't make it scriptural. That's why it's wise for you and I, before we run after the baby Jesus, check with Jerusalem under the right directions of where he's born. Otherwise you'll find a king, but not the king you want to find. You find the spirit, you will find an angel, you will find stuff going through your spine, you will find energy going through your spine. And at the same time losing marriage, losing children, and at the same time going into away from God. Because not every spirituality is scriptural. My dog knows that too. He's so desperate and thirsty sometimes for water that he doesn't see the difference between the little uh, place where he's supposed to drink from. He runs to the toilet and drinks the water like there is no tomorrow. Now I am not my dog but so many of you here today you're hungry for supernatural. You don't even care where you lick the water from. Not everything that looks like water is water. That's why you need the Bible not to have a manual for your life but a map for an encounter many of you here today you stopped reading the bible for one reason you reduced this to a manual and you read it you're like Vlad I've read it read it twice read it three times there's nothing new there and from what I hear they don't they don't create updates for it there is no revisions for it so you know what I already have read it I've studied I know what it says and it doesn't relate to how I should live my life because life is so different it doesn't talk about things that I battle with right now I feel like it's not relevant to your to my life see you reduce the Bible to a, to a manual that's what Pharisees did they studied and studied but they didn't realize the Bible held directions to an encounter the Bible held directions to you meet God to face to face yes it has principles but its goal is to lead you to a person whose name is the Holy Spirit what do I take from that is if I want to have an encounter I have to fall in love with the Bible so it can teach me the Holy Spirit I've read the Bible over over 20 probably times from beginning to end. I try to read it once and sometimes twice a year. I don't read it to get a sermon but this year I have changed my perspective on reading the Bible. I don't read now to get a revelation or to get an insight. I say Holy Spirit I want to find you here and I want you to give me directions and I want to read the Bible freshly and this year I challenge you pick up your Bible read your Bible more than you read your other books.
visit books but live in this book because only this holds the right directions to where the Holy Spirit is and who the Holy Spirit is. Books will inspire you, this will give you an encounter. Books will give you knowledge, this will give you a meeting face to face with God. Books, they, they will update your thinking and they will challenge your status quo in many areas and that is good. There is nothing wrong with that. We need to read books but this is different. This is a bread of life. This is the sword of the Holy Spirit. This is the hammer. This is the fire. This is the seed. This is the oil. This is the water. This is leads to an encounter with God. That's why atheists don't fight other books. They fight this book. That's why communists did not fight any other book. They fight this book. Why? Because there is something dangerous about this book. It can change the way you live. It can change the way you spend your time. It can change the way you are. This book. You will never see the books of a new age being banned from other countries because they're not a threat to a demonic kingdom. This one is.